This tool creates the most gorgeously, exquisitely beautiful images I have ever seen in a game. I had seen a smattering of images around the place before now of pictures people had taken, but it was only when I took my own 64k images that I realized what potential this had. It just creates a scene in the game that you simply cannot experience without using this super resolution tool, because gaming at such ridiculous resolutions is more than a few years away. So, for any of you wondering, NVIDIA Ansel is open to a great number of GPUs, full list of the description, but yeah, it seems they opened it up to lots of NVIDIA GPUs after the first limited release to the 1070 and 1080, and to access it you simply need to be running GeForce Experience and when in game hit Alt F2 and it will freeze the game and from there you can do a number of things, you can snap the screenshot in normal resolution or up the resolution to insane levels, by the way ignore the predicted file size, it doesn't ever come out to such crazy size. Sizes. Well, they are sizable files, but not 20 gigs. You can also take 360 degree images, which look fantastic, though are limited to 16 by 9 4K, which is a shame. And you can also get these in a stereo mode too, for, I believe, VR use. On top of all this, you can tweak the image colors and the like, though these kind of image tweaks can be far more easily done in Photoshop with more options, but regardless, the choice is there. You can also change FOV and camera tilt, and whether to capture the image in HDR or not. And once you're done, you're immediately dropped straight back to where you were paused, as if nothing happened. It's hands down my favourite tool I've found of late. Now even for myself, it takes a while taking these insane picture sizes. It took nearly a minute for my Witcher 3 61,920 by 25,920 image to be captured, and then another 2 minutes before it showed up in my capture folder. I'm assuming as it's stitched together and compressed to a reasonable size. And this is on my setup, which includes an i7 7700K, GTX 1080, and DDR4 RAM, and running off of an 850 EVO SSD. So don't be surprised if it takes a while, it's worth the wait. Also, for those wondering, the pictures are saved to wherever you have set your GeForce to save your captured videos. I was confused for a while before I stumbled across that answer. Now the only shame with this is that it is limited to literally hardly any games at all, 8 to be specific, The Witness, Mass Effect Andromeda, Watch Dogs 2, Abduction, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Ark Survival Evolved, The Witcher 3, and War Thunder. I really wish this could be extended to so many more games, as it is truly superb. It should be noted that Mirror's Edge Catalyst doesn't support the super resolution feature, which is annoying as it's really the only reason I would use this tool. Also, for War Thunder, you can only use Ansel in the hangar or whilst watching replays. It makes sense though, as <laughs> how else would it work? You just suddenly try to take a picture mid-battle online, doesn't sound like it's gonna work. Now, you can get action shots, but trying to hit all the right keys at the same time is a bit fiddly, like I tried in Watch Dogs 2, so it's not great for getting such shots, but it is cool when you can pull it off. And a tip I would say is stick everything on highest graphic settings when you're going to take an image, because it doesn't matter what your frame rate is like for an image, but the better graphics quality will be very noticeable in the image. I mean, for goodness sake, look at Geralt's hair here. This is the max settings on The Witcher 3. It's the most perfect demonstration of what this amazing resolution does. It means you don't see any anti-aliasing lines, and it looks perfectly smooth. This is my big point about these pictures, it's not really about the ability to zoom massively far into them, because render distance still screws things up, it's for the fact that the resolution makes everything in the image look perfect. That said, check out the zoom on this Watch Dogs 2 shot over San Francisco, it is quite insane what this level of resolution has. Now, I should mention that Flawless Widescreen conflicts with Ansel and so you can't use them together which is potentially annoying, but this only applies to Mass Effect Andromeda at the moment. I urge you to try this out yourself, as it really is insanely cool. I'll leave you with some pictures, though YouTube compression won't do them justice, so I'll leave links to the raw files in the description on Imager. Anyway, for anything else, head over to my channel or the widest Fuck website and I'm sure there'll be something of interest there. If not, then leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, links to my Patreon page in the description and Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.